Hello, everybody. This is Sty Anti-Natalist. If you'll notice, the emphasis is on anti now. So, this um, video will not have any any pictures um, to, to view. It is totally black. And um, this was a very dark day for me. A very shocking day. Um, one of the most amazing, shocking revelations that I have ever um, heard. So, um, um, I have uh, a, a medical professional and a coach of sorts. And um, I have used her services for like almost uh, two years, I think. And um, she is a beloved professional. She's a beloved person to me. Absolutely endearing in so many ways. And she has helped me so much, um, you know, strength training. And, uh, you know, I can't say anything bad about this person. And um, um, I'll call her Amy. But... Um, you know, I clicked with Amy, you know, instantly, and she worked very, very hard for me. And, um, you know, um, I even texted her a few things. I mean, she had got a pet, and we were discussing her pet, and, you know, um, I just gave her some tips on you know, obedience and things. And, um, over the, the months and years, I had briefly discussed my um, philosophy. I, I didn't go full on because, you know, I didn't really know if she was, uh, well, I knew she was child free, but I didn't even know, like, you know, how much to delve into it. It wasn't really the, you know, the place to do so. But when I did um, mention people who were in peril or people who were in pain, um, you know, who come to see doctors and, um, you know, practitioners. Um, I have said things like, you know, life is just really not worth beginning. And I probably said at the beginning, uh, beginning of COVID, you know, why are people having children? I, I mean, isn't the pandemic enough to wake them up? And, um, I just dropped little hints, and um, she knew um, of some um, antinatalist groups that I had belonged to on Facebook. Um, but, you know, just in passing, um, she didn't um, question me about the philosophy, nor did she, um, you know, respond to it. She did listen, and listening is her greatest um, uh, talent. It's one of her greatest um, she's intelligent, very well educated. And so I saw her today and, um, um, you know, we were, we were working together and just out of the blue, she said, oh, um, if I look a little bit bigger to you, if I look a little bit chubbier, it's because, you know, I'm expecting I'm going to be delivering in April, the beginning of April. And the biggest shock came over me. Number one, I could not see the pregnancy. Now, given she's a very, very, very tiny person. And... You know, she was wearing kind of a loose sweater, but nevertheless, it was the biggest disappointment, disenchantment, discouragement. Uh, I mean, I just literally, I didn't know what to do or what to say. There was no congratulatory um, words on my part. Um, you know, I tried to be happy for her, but... Um, you know, I really had to temper my thoughts and, um, you know, 
we, um, you know, I went into the question of, you know, whether it was a boy or girl. And, and I asked her, I said, did your husband want children? And he, she goes, yeah, he did. He was from a big family. And so, um, that's a common, um, thing that I've heard on the Facebook group. I regret having children. Women follow their partner's demands or requests or, you know, initiations to get pregnant and have a baby. And um, it changes the women's uh, world. It doesn't so much change the men's. It changes the woman's world from the way she thinks and feels about herself. She'll be forever worrying about that child, even when it's grown. Um, even when she goes to work, she'll be worrying about her child, even if it's in good hands. Um, women lose a big part of themselves. Now, they try to, um, you know, fake it and um, um, gaslight people by saying, you know, the world is so much better and that it has made them a better person. No, it never makes them a better person. It makes them a murderer. And, um, I, you know, I was almost in tears out of just utter disgust because she had worked with me very hard. Um, and um, she, you know, she's a great coach. She's a great um, mentor. She's um, She's not in her 20s. I think she's early 30s. But um, I least expected this, and I was just, my jaw just dropped, and I don't know why she withheld this information for you know, almost eight months, unless she knew more about my philosophy and my thinking um, than I thought she did. But um, I really thought she might even be like a child-free kind of person, or a person who you know, just kind of never really thought about wanted kids because, you know, she's kind of into her career. But uh, the fact that I could not see a pregnancy, um, of course, you know, I'm not looking at the stomach and, you know, literally with like a baggy sweater on, you could not see a bump at all. Um, why are educated, how come educated people can be so stupid is beyond me. Um, it is so repulsive that her and her partner gambled with a future baby, a future being, a being that's going to suffer and it's going to feel pain, you know, at the moment it exposes um, this worldly sphere. You know, I've always been ahead of my time. Like, even when I was young, maybe 12 to 14, I, I, I didn't want kids. And, and I saw flaws in life. And, um, and I've been quite outspoken. And, um, you know, um, I wasn't blessed with having, you know, the best parents. Although, that's a huge reason. It is not the only reason that I'm an antinatalist. Um, so, um, you know, I can't let this failure of hers to be so blind as to inflict harm on an innocent baby and her failure of hers to do what was ethical and compassionate. Um, le I can't let that get to me. I, I just can't focus on her because she's uh, just another being in the world that, you know, was impregnated and um, who's going through a pregnancy, whether it's out of boredom or whether she thinks her clock is ticking or whether she has family pressure or, you know, partner pressure. But uh, Amy has a lot of disillusionment ahead. And um, before I left today, uh, I showed her a recent person on my friend list, um, baby's picture, and I talked about her baby and, 
And I told her about, you know, the disillusionments and the regrets that this person is already talking about. And, um, you know, I also mentioned that on the group, I regret having children. One of the biggest issues women face is the fact that their, their partner, their male, does not um, contribute to the household and to the baby and uh, to the medical needs and to the doctor needs and to the food making needs, the cleanup needs, um, the shopping needs. Um, all of those things are usually just thrust upon the women and the woman. And so, you know, um, I tried to be enthusiastic for my friend without saying congratulations. And um, I think she must have seen the utter shock on my face. And uh, then she actually lifted up her stomach to show me the tiny little bump she has on her tiny little frame. But it severely impacted my day. And I just realized that no matter how strong of an advocate I am, and no, no matter how much sense and logic antinatalism makes, people just won't listen. And, and everybody, you know, they have to um, um, find out through the school of hard knocks. And um, the best thing you can do is listen to other people <laughs> um, and, um, you know, regard what they say and take it to heart and consider how your life is going to change in such a thing as, you know, reproduction. Because uh, it is painted very rosy in society, but it is not rosy at all. It's a very raw job, and even in the hospital and through um, postpartum and through nursing, um, you know, and through being off of work for a while, um, you, your life is going to change drastically, and you can never go back. Now, on one hand, um, I am a little disappointed that she'll be, she'll be out for a little bit, but she's going to come back to her job. Um, but the biggest disappointment is that, you know, she's going to thrust this little thing, this little human into existence who is going to suffer, age, and die. And she knows that. She might not, you know, consciously be thinking about that, but subconsciously she knows. You know, every baby, you know gets hurt and cries and feels pain. And I just thought so much more of her. And um, uh, it really, really deflated me. And it just shows that, you know, uh, you know, even with great education and, and great um, logic and basically coaching on my part, and I dropped little hints along the way um, during the year. I just, you know, uh, I just wanted her to know basically my stance, and I don't want it to be a surprise to somebody. Um, so I do kind of, you know, just mention the word, and, you know, possibly she's even looked up the word on her own, but she'll find out soon enough. Um, there's a lot of disillusionment ahead for Amy. So thank you for watching. It's been a very dark day for me.